Before coming to Lebanon, I was in Ethiopia, and in Ethiopia, I ate raw liver three times. And my favorite thing about leaving Ethiopia was the thought that I don't have to eat raw liver again for a while. And here it is. Beirut, the vibrant capital of Lebanon, a nation with a massive PR crisis. From a devastating civil war to a financial crisis caused by governmental mismanagement, Lebanese citizens have been through a lot. It's a region of the world that has a lot of conflict because of the history it has and even religions are born here. I actually even fled at one point. In 2020, they saw their currency devalued by nearly 97%. Inflation has driven the country's currency to historical lows. Followed by the global pandemic. Banking restrictions are pushing the healthcare system to the brink of collapse. Then the tragic Beirut explosion, which instantly claimed countless lives and ravaged the city. Lebanon is a country that knows struggle, but it's also a country of survivors. Tough cookies, your breakdown is there Tuesday afternoon. So when more bad news piles on, why not have a smoke or a drink Cheers. and sit back with some world-renowned food? All of these are appetizers. <sighs> I'm definitely appetized. For me, coming to Beirut for the first time, I'm on a mission to understand Lebanese culture and food from folks who are damn passionate about cooking. Wow. <laughs> She's happy because you're happy. Though its population is only about 6.5 million, with a quarter of those being Syrian, Lebanon has had an outsized impact on the world of food. Lebanese food, with the little ingredients we have, we make the most out of it. So I think in terms of taste, it's one of the best in the world, and I'm not being biased. Here, recipes go back beyond memory, beyond generations. The place here is about 200 years old, his father was working here, and his grandfather, and his grand-grandfather. And in a country that can be traversed in just a couple hours, there's no excuse not to see it all. There's the street food in the big cities, Beirut and Tripoli. Piles of succulent protein. It's like little discs of meat. And revolving meat towers. It looks like a giant red Filipino sausage. What is that? Attracting the late night drinking crowd. In a country where boozing is not only permitted, it's encouraged. Have you ever heard of potentially someone drinking too much and then eating one of these at the end of the night? Obviously. From Beirut, just an hour's drive will bring you to the highlands where young innocent sheep are transformed into an array of Middle Eastern delicacies, both delicious this looks incredible. and also daring. On the table right now, we have the two organs that every man uses to make every decision in his life, the brain and the testicles. <laughs> then there's the seafood. Lebanon, a country with 140 miles of coastline on the Mediterranean, has some of the most captivating seafood dishes in the world. This is probably one of the most beautiful sea urchins I've ever seen. Whether they're cooking up the most venomous fish in the ocean. Have you ever been stabbed by one of these fish? I was, this finger was totally black. Or gathering sea snails by hand and steaming them with spices that'll put you in a state of ecstasy. Collecting the snails does require a degree of skill and patience. Uh oh, mine's stuck in there. Passion for food here means creators, people with a voice sharing their culture with the world. You must show how cooking is a nice thing, is a feeling, is much more than just a dish or a meal. Like a beer isolated in the far-off reaches of the countryside, who in just a couple years has garnered 20 million-plus followers, an audience eager to challenge their concept of what makes an amazing meal. Cooking food like this is what put you on the map, but what is the downside of that? <laughs> but you can't talk about Lebanon without talking about Syria. Over 25% of the population here consists of Syrians. Many arrived here after fleeing their homes during the Syrian civil war, and many ended up in places like this, a Syrian refugee camp. When you came here 10 years ago, did you ever imagine you would be here this long? Wow. When they first came here, they thought they were gonna stay two months, and they left everything back home. Oh, no. A respite from the violence of their homeland, but a new environment with new daily challenges. They get every month $25 for eight people. They make the most out of their difficult living conditions and lack of resources, still creating moments of brilliance during special occasions. This might be some of the best food I've had in Lebanon. Yo, no controversial. Offense. <laughs> no the people of Lebanon are tough, bold, and outspoken. The government pulled off a Ponzi scheme on us. It's corruption, if you will. Like many of us around the world, their day-to-day -day lives are in the hands of elected officials. My salary is 700, 800. Now my salary 100. But their day-to-day -day mood and actions illuminate a pride in a country that's just a few steps away from realizing its full potential. Do you see a future for your daughter in Lebanon? Yeah, I see a future for her here in Lebanon. Lebanon, a Middle Eastern country known for conflict, is one of the most open, liberal, outgoing places in the world with food that will amaze you. And you're going to see it all in 24 hours. Cheers.
Don't do like I'm this. So sorry. It's like That's you get man. drunk quickly. Bro. Oh, isn't that the goal? 